By the virtues, what vile magic has invaded Daventry? And what is this? Dark monster. It was neither flesh nor blood. What now? Come closer, lad. Hello? Well, then off with you. Return when you wish to converse further. the Tempest's nature. The Mask of Eternity? Well, not towards five. Two now possess one. That leaves four. There you go. Say the line. <clears throat> That's a really important sound, by the way. If he doesn't say that, I know I've messed up. It's actually not that unhelpful of a guy, Connor. And look, we even found a nice, easy way into your favorite crypt. Forgive me, Great Knight, but I will need your ring in order to achieve my quest. <laughs> I am honored to perform such a noble quest, but where do in I In your live? defense, the whole thing of just hitting a metal gate really, really hard is an incredibly stupid puzzle. It does have the uh, um, unique advantage, though, of telling you what kind of game this is going to be and how half the time. Just swack it really, really hard and you should be fine. I am grateful, sir. My destiny is clear. I shall prevail. Good wizard, I beseech you, give me guidance. I have discovered the portal to the dimension of death but upon entering it, have encountered a foul beast of darkness. But where can such be found? It in there, come on, okay. No problem. It's a rare thing in a speedrun. You get basically free time until that conversation is done. So if you screw up a little bit, you haven't actually uh, done anything too suboptimal yet. Now to find the king. I am not close enough. Right. You can grab the ashes from all the way over here, but you weren't close enough to the candle. Hoping for world record tonight so I can put this game down for a bit and actually return to Quest for Glory. Especially with all the new runners finding cool ways to do annoying skips. Get 
out of there. Come on. All right. I have found torch ashes. Will this work? Aye, lad. Twill work wonders. Sir Wizard, I have gained a ring from a noble knight long deceased. Aye, tis good, lad. Lo, I have obtained a sacred flame from the church. Good work, lad. Good. All three items. Now, lad, behold. By all the spirits of the light, brighten the darkness of the night. Bonk. I love whoever decided that sound effect needed to be a bubble sound. Immeasurable. May we meet again in better times. Quality choice. All right. Let's get out of Daventry. It's a silly place. but is being so aggressive about my splits with the gold and the ketchup like the the variation of how quickly you get those clips is large enough that you could be five or ten seconds behind your best work. pace and it's not the a huge deal but maybe i haven't run this enough for it to realize that through. tis the dimension of death all right there we go your soul immortal but i want its power Gonna need this guy's head in particular. So I want to backflip off of it and over this gate. So I don't have to do that puzzle. Miller, the next time Nate makes you play this game, I'll show you a not too hard to pull off trick here to skip this area if you're absolutely over it next time. You know, once it's done saving. There we go. For whatever reason, the uh, we'll find a credit for. That'd be great. Hey, ATM, how you doing? Yeah, for whatever reason, at the very tail ends of the map, the uh, um, the river sticks is just not deadly at the very beginning. Um, so if you're just careful enough, you can long jump over the whole thing and skip all of that uh, Egyptian fantasy lore they worked kind of sort of hard on. Where am I now? A swamp? Last time in my hubris, I got totally gank. Woo! <laughs> I never leaped over that guy's head before. That was amazing. I want to do that every time now. A little bit of swagger for poor Connor. Ah. Looks like 
I saved. Oh, about four seconds on Dimension of Death. That's cool. sure when I'm through it. But apparently I got through it. Good. This is going a little bit well. Kind of scary. Fortunately, I messed that up to bring me down the earth. Tis beyond my reach. Tis empty. Tis beyond my reach. What is this? It is shaped like a hand. But a hand must... Yeah, sometimes if I'm not careful, I will totally ruin that, which is silly. Like, I have uh, more than enough healing items here because I can do this funny little glitch where it just levels up whenever I pop a mushroom because I've experienced bars full. She didn't even notice me. Yeah, this goes really well. I'll have to do something else for the stream. <laughs> hey, Nate, what's up? You're just in time for the, uh, the Mino speech of Mask of Eternity. Nice and unskippable. Who are you, sir? Snail? I am King Mudge. This swamp is my realm, and all here are my subjects. I understand you slew the vile witch. I, I totally I, did. I She's did, dead. Sire. <laughs> How wonderful. I couldn't tolerate that old biddy, especially after she poisoned our lovely swamp. But now, because of you, our water is pure once more. I wish to express my supreme gratitude, Sir Champion. I humbly accept your appreciation, sire. But pray, can you give me counsel on... Stay! We must quickly... There's Connor getting terribly family. close to having a, a plot now, exposition, Champion, so we can't have that. Behold. King Mudge has got her back. To the underground realm of the gnomes. Whoop. Wait, where are you going? King Mudge, best character, easy. <laughs> Same time I did the swamp last time. Good, good, good. I'm actually surprised. I felt pretty quick. This must be the realm of the gnomes. My mini map. Bonk. level is pure stream poison. I have to be fast for all of you.
is terrible. Okay. All right. Whew. What is this odd contrivance? What purpose would that lodestone and hovering crystal serve? anyone wants to run this game in the future and also find a way to not do this part, you'd be my friend forever. Oops. I don't like what you're doing here. Okay. We're in the wall, but you see, we have to get into a totally separate wall that is perpendicular to it. And we did. Okay. It is too dark. I cannot see. You know, ATM, even though we were in the ugliest part of it, it's still not that great looking. Here's the intended aesthetic. Just tunnel. Brown, brown tunnel. It's a pretty small level, though. They really phoned it in here. Yeah, um, so that section... Oh, I actually need my punches out of that still. Um, that section, you're supposed to normally get a plot item that lights up that whole area, which, of course, we did not do, which means it's supposed to be disruptively, intentionally dark as to shoo you away until you get it, but who has the time for that? I have gained the lodestone, wise sage. It is unbelievable. <laughs> Please resume Larry Floppies. To be found. Let us hope it will work. That might be what's on that uh, that pyramid. You can click on them, and uh, it tries to explain Mask of Eternity Success. lore. Wait, and Marco. no, it's not helpful, explain. but it tries. Um, so maybe that was where the Lost Floppies were. You can get a completely unrelated pyramid by doing a side quest with a unicorn, but it's just the, the bad guy, like... Chewing scenery. Nothing interesting. All right. Let's see if my totally foolproof don't die system is actually foolproof here. Help if you jumped. <clears throat> yeah. Hate this jump. It's almost like they didn't intend you to do it this way. Let's try it this way. Maybe this will be better. Yeah, great. First person to third person in this game is weird. Like, it, it does seem to actually change the way Connor interacts with the game. He, uh, he's a little more um, limber in third person. Like, I'm keeping him here like this because he can swing by some zombies easier. Um, but he is a little more fine-tuned. Okay, good. I didn't mess that up. Um, he's a little more fine-tuned in terms of churning when you have him in first person, so... It is nice to have options for sure. Place to use my map. I can magically transport from here. <laughs> they might have. It's not that bad of a game, but there are a handful of sections that feel um, unplay taste, unplay tested, or at least if it was me play testing, I would have demanded a raise. This area, for example, has two completely rage-inducing sequences. One is a uh, classic Roberta screw you um, puzzle, which involves platforming. And then uh, just, just another section here that requires very precise backflips. Um, and if you mess them up, you fall in the lava, which instantly murders you. 
it, it's absolute hell. Like, I don't know why this was the area where they decided, you know what, this is a platformer now. Here, worm, prepare for death. I grabbed the safety crystals there. It is possible to do that without getting too damaged, but I'm not that good at it, and uh, I'd rather not lose a run to uh, well, my failures. Right, you were in there. Come on, please. Fine, we'll clip again. Oh no, this happened last time too. Which happened to kill the run. I don't know what's so hard about going through an invisible barrier, a wall, another wall, and into a forbidden zone. It's like, grow up, Connor. Wasn't nearly as bad as last time, at least, but still not great. Hey, Angel Dufay. If I'm saying that right. I think this game is not that bad. But there are people in this chat who might disagree with you. Okay. Oh, come on. Hmm. These symbols. Might be a dead run if I get this little. Okay, good. There we go. Terrible skip. Absolutely cursed. Okay. The other big no, problem with this uh, level glass. is coming right up. It is a steam elevator where you put those little caps I just grabbed um, on two little pipes, and that gives uh, the elevator enough propulsion to um, get you up to the next level. The issue with it is sometimes this camera, when you're trying to move it, just disagrees with you and doesn't want to move. Um, and you absolutely, no way around it, have to <clears throat> use the camera to get it, even if you're playing casually. Uh, it's a nightmare. All right. Oh, okay. This is looking optimistic. Oh, oh, oh thank goodness. Um, wow, that... <laughs> That is such a nightmare. Um, this is uh, absolutely a this run to lose now land, for me. Sure. Which, you know, I might. But the worst part's over, for sure. We still have uh, Lucrito RNG to deal with, which is uh, notorious. I need to do this very specific damage cancel. Okay. This water is supposed to deter you from uh, crossing this way. You're supposed to go grab a, uh, grab a crystal dragon to take you across. But to do that, we have to make friends with a uh, ice lady that I was supposed to save um, in the previous level. Hey, thanks for, for the follow. Appreciate it. Um, which, you know, is time consuming, so we'll just do it this way. 
This is faster anyway. That crystal dragon uh, cutscene is a nightmare. Oh, the henchmen are great. They're all kind of these weird, like, amorphous, gooey, um, uh, eldritch magic people. Um, one of my favorites at the very start, uh, Miller knows this. He, uh, you get, like, ambushed by a bunch of random spears that transform into one of those guys. Like, they clearly had fun uh, programming a 3D game. <laughs> it's charming. I think it's charming. Bonk. And here's how you can also tell it's one of their first 3D games. They didn't quite uh, figure out the angles here. Right. Trick is to long jump with the rhythm of those ice bolts because they can absolutely one shot you if you're unlucky. Alright, what else can I mess up? I can mess up a skip coming up once I get back off the citadel. I can mess up pretty much. <laughs> he kind of is, isn't he? I really appreciate all of the uh, the dramatic grunts this guy does. Connor voice actor gets into it. think I was manipulating the camera there, but at some point the camera decided, yes, you are totally in control of the camera, and I say, get to steer in a particular way. Okay, I think that's good enough. Uh, okay, great, perfect. Bonk. Yep, clicking that key on that, uh, um, I'm pointing to the screen like you can see it. The uh, the keyhole there will automatically teleport Connor up for this cutscene. Aye, your majesty. More, more scripted diehard action sequences here. He just doesn't even care. To die, mortal. Not me. You, Thork. The plot of the Hawkmen people is actually pretty funny. Uh, because the king's imprisoned, all the other griffins decide to just become total bad place for jokers and start guy. violently attacking everyone they see, including you. Um, and all this is because they lost their king. I have an idea. Birds are weird. Oh yeah, Bill Farmer, I think you uh, mentioned that on one of your uh, uh, vids short. I think it's, <laughs> it's uh, there's a couple other people like that I think that are just kind of randomly famous voice actors Aha, now. Success. That, you know, just collecting the paycheck for Sork. You are getting way too close for comfort. Back up, please. That's just uh, safety to <laughs> drink that water. Nine times out of ten, Thork is not going to bother you, but every so often he is just really out of the Aye, it worked. I hope to not break. ATM, you are exactly right. Um, so actually, Bill Farmer is the guy I put on my little, silly little follower notification. It's just Sam from the TV show. Another mask piece. The mask belongs to my master. It will not aid you. It will not aid you either. Right. 
Uh, that's exactly right. Um, granted, the speed run skips most of it, but even in the game, there's just not a lot of uh, riveting conversation to be had. There's an old quote from uh, Pod Dugan's uh, video about, about this game where he uh, says the Baron region is somehow the most populated map of the game, which I always got a kick out of. He's absolutely right, too. Like, the number of non violent NPCs in the Baron region is like 10 times the amount anywhere else. I did already show Miller his uh, um, emergency exit strategy for the Dimension of Death, because he's in a pretty bad way, if I recall. Nate, how close are you in Copex to uh, getting that game back up? <laughs> Hang on, get in there. What am I doing? Here we go. I know how to play this game. Shoot, lost time on that. I wonder where. I was kind of slow getting all the setup for the uh, ice lever. Yeah, now you have uh, the much easier combat mode available to you. Yeah, I was a little bit slow on one of the clips, and it took a while on uh, um, one of the actual intended puzzles of the game. Probably isn't the run unless the segment goes really well. Which you really never know. The uh, my understanding of how the door clips work in this level is a little bit screwball. ATM, I have absolutely no idea. Um, Bye, my. The last room in the game, you know, does it should be outside if you're going by the really intro video. Here? So maybe that the one point they the decided sun. they couldn't do that and it had to be walled. You're dead meat. All right, Forest next to be nice. <laughs> Let's pick up the health potion, chill in there, get us through the wall, who's even checking. I know not the answer. I shall seek it. Yeah, I mean, these levels um, in here are pretty small, so it, it might have made sense that they, uh, <laughs> yes, okay, that was really quick. Ooh. Good, good, good. But it all comes down to if I can replicate that here. That's bad. That's bad. Ooh, okay. Great. Good, good, good. We did not lose the game. I shall seek the answer. Yeah, the clips with the doors, they can be kind of hard to figure out, but I've been trying to practice them here, so you might notice that my movements here are kind of different. It's another one done pretty quickly here. All right. One more clip um, that has to behave, and then we are in Lucrito RNG for the remainder here. Oof. Speak thou of order. I know not how. Yet. Chuck calls them Medusas, but those things that uh, kept tongue lashing me are called water snakes in the manual. Did that yet already? No. That lucky. Okay. Perfect. Okay, I think I've really cracked the code on those. 
feels good. Even if I botch this run, that feels good. Backflips, though. Who even knows how the backflip works? Okay. Current pace, 36.25, which would be record. Um, pretty much have to first or second try Lucrito for that, though. You can just punch around him, it doesn't matter. World's largest hitbox. This will not work. <laughs> or a non venomous varlet, you know? It's all, it's all really mean, hurtful things. I do admire that everyone just talks like Mordak in this game. Oh my god, I can't believe I first tried that. Amazing. Oh my gosh. 